everybody back to the channel, man. Fantastic. Just a awesome freaking week this week. I mean, the stock market was crushed. So I'm open to suggestions as to what it is that we do at this point in the short term. Do we throw in the towel? <laughs> How many people out there feel like throwing in the towel? <laughs> You're throwing the towel, right? Oh, man, come on. Life is good. Getting to invest is a luxury. Caught a YouTube video this week that uh, really put things into perspective with me. Um, really was. Uh, I, I think now in 2023, I think the society that we live in has people caught up on a, a number of different snowballs that um, unfortunately do not promote a, a, a healthy type of mental approach. And I'll tell you what, man, uh, take perspective in the short term to realize that your long term goals should never ever succumb to what's going on i've been doing youtube for about five or six years now and in that five or six years there's been ups there's been downs there's been ups there's been downs and there's been ups and there's been downs in a, a five-year sample okay we're all blessed with a gift of doing i don't know some of you guys will do 80 years god willing do 80 years. Um, I'm planning on doing about 127 years. <laughs> and, uh, I'll be darned if there's something that can be doled out in the short term. Now, the irony in the whole thing is you go back to May of last year, which around May, June ish time frame last year, 2022, mind you, we were looking at a significantly less of an interest rate, prime interest rate, that is, and the effects of inflation were just starting, uh, if not in the midst of being felt, right? And the, the Fed was taking a very, very hawkish stance all the way through 2022. Um, we are at those same levels now in 2023, all right? So if it feels worse to you or it feels better or you feel like we're emerging into a better place and you still feel like you've got the eye of the tiger, um, that's fantastic. That's great. Here's the thing. Stock market investing all too often, and I think this would be the goal of the um, the, the social media. I think there was a pretty cool quote in here. Yeah, it was toward the top, I think. It was really quite good. Yeah, here it is. <clears throat> totally correct. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to wrap your mind around this idea that somehow um, the market is in a place that, I don't know, would have you potentially second guess. And th this is the byproduct of what happens from um, negative sentiment around the market. Right now, it's we're in the depths of hell. I, it does, just doesn't get any worse than this uh, as far as the market sentiment. The cool thing about coming into a channel like mine is um, I can tell you that it's okay. Um, do you believe it? Um, furthermore, do you have the under the surface explanation as to why it is truly okay in the acute? Why it is that you should absolutely keep this thing in a box in the short term? Because if your goals are aligned with where they should be over the long term, this really shouldn't mean a whole lot to you. I just caught a video. It was a, actually the title of a video uh, from Passive Income Investor. It was one of his shorts, actually. It was really quite good. And it talked about the ability for this market right now to be creating millionaires. As we speak now, the irony in that, and I'll double down on his point, is to suggest that nobody realizes it. Mm-hmm. Because everybody is wrapped up in this short-term idea that um, the markets have no hope. The markets will never go up again. Um, companies like Google and Amazon, which were named as two stocks uh, just today from Warren Buffett, that could be put into your portfolio for the next 10 years. I will double down on that and suggest that the Warren Buffett's philosophy is such that if you can't own a stock for 10 years, um, then you shouldn't try to own it for even 10 minutes because it's futile, okay? Um, it's like companies that I own that fit into my portfolio that I have bullish conviction on right now is going to somehow remain in the rut forever, indefinitely. 
right? Look at that. Isn't that cool, man, how that lightning shows up in the neon green? This hat's a neon green. Isn't this cool? Yeah. If only Thomas Healy knew that this ended up in the hands of Ryan with the Independent Investor Channel. If he only knew how cool of a dude I was, he'd actually start working with me instead of against me. Be awesome. Mm -hmm. But I think what we need to do is we certainly need to, as ind individual independent investors, to get back to the theme of what the channel is all about is defining your range of tolerance. Okay. My range of tolerance is going to be different than yours. I find it entertaining at the very, very least for people who come on and try to school me up on how it is uh, with regard to my investing application um, should be aligned um, in accordance with their best wishes. Um, I don't do that to people. I don't care. I just do not care. Um, I care enough that you will self-identify with what is good for you. That's a much deeper um, opportunity to, to pay forward to people. Furthermore, it is an opportunity through social media, as long as it's done carefully and it's done in a responsible manner to collect or, or connect people with successful people, okay? In the Independent Investor Channel, there's 27 patrons in the live stream here on a random Friday in a February, right? Market's dog shit, right? So people want to find excuses to go elsewhere. The utter irony in that is just um, staunch. In that, to Kyle's point, right, now is the very time that you want to be paying attention to financial markets. I don't know when it's going to end. I have no idea. Um, like I said, in five years, I've had nothing of a phenomenal sample set of ups, downs, left, right, BA, select, start. Um, and uh, I've been investing for better than 25 years. Is it safe to expect that the, over the next five to 10 or 15 or 20 or 25 or 30? And dare I might suggest that the maximum, if you started investing at 20, to get you to 60 which would be that uh, Roth IRA eligibility milestone that I think is very important for people to acknowledge is there. Whether or not you participate in it or not is inevitable, okay? Um, and that the time that you spend in those, in those years need to be maximized to the fullest extent. To maximize that opportunity, whether it be 20, 30, 40 years, is to not succumb to the whims of day-to-day -day activity in the stock market. It just won't get you there. You might come on and you might give me all kinds of different reasons as to why you think the stock market's going into recession and why you think that this interest rate is stickier than what I think it is gonna be. And by laughing it off, by listening to Eye of the Tiger, the entire song before my live stream is somehow out of place and I should be down in the dumps like everybody else and I should be playing into this nerve, right? Like my title would suggest. The world is, is the world, the end of the world is imminent. That's the title of my video. Anybody want to explain what I mean by that? <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I don't mean anything by it. I'm going to tell you that I'm a deductive reasoner and I'm probably going to suggest that the world's probably not coming to an end within each of our lifetimes. Okay. You put that in your pipe and smoke it. All right. So why is everybody making their investment decisions based on the whims of the pundits out there with, that would have you suggest that the interest rates that were significantly less almost one year ago to the date now have brought us full circle to an S&P that we're staring in the face right now. I just don't see it. See, I was calling the bottom of the market the last June. Where Will we re revisit the, 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 the June lows? I don't know. I'll be set up to profit no matter what. I'll be buying the market all the way down. I buy the market every single month. I deploy a very, very simple strategy that I can talk blue in the face and try to teach people that to continually infuse the market, you can be rest assured that you're injecting capital at highs and lows, uh, up, down, left, right, BA, select, start, doesn't matter, right? You can be infusing capital at 
a, 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 a schedule that makes sense for you. That's very dollar cost averaging in its essence. Okay. Now the market's really down right now. I don't know what that means. Okay. What would you like me to do about it? I fund markets every single month. And I declare to the audience that I fund markets in the tune of about $2,500 to $3,000 a month. The video that I caught this week that really was phenomenal piece of content. I don't watch a lot of YouTube. Phenomenal piece of content would suggest that the average yearly salary, yearly salary in the world is less than $10,000 a year. He did go on to suggest that some of the developed nations like the UK, Canada, the United States, and many, many others that enjoy, you know, um, a privilege. Uh, and we do, trust me, I admit to having a padded ass. I totally get it. If I didn't succeed in this environment, I would be a complete loser. Um, those people that are coming up without advantage and coming up without opportunity and those people that can make it, I tip my hat to those people. But for us in the United States, I'm here to tell you, man, you don't have any excuse. He should be glued to the independent investor channel for every single second that I come through the airwaves free of charge. You should be glued to the airwaves, glued to it. If I'm going to give an extra half hour, you should be glued to it. Why? Because if you're going to succeed in this life, why don't you try to gravitate toward people that have a successful mindset? And I'm willing to teach on it. I, really? Um, What's changed for you in the last five years? I can tell you what, if you've ever been to Cedar Point in Ohio, Sandusky, Ohio, um, the changes that have occurred to me over the last five years has been like being a top thrill dragster, which takes about a minute and a half to conclude if you have ever been there before or have the ability to relate with what I'm saying. Maverick, top thrill dragster, mm -hmm. Millennium Force, badass stuff, man, badass. Has your life changed? Are you still in the same rut? I don't know. Surround yourself with successful people. I allow you to do it every single Friday, free of charge. Sound arrogant? I don't know. I have, I have the um, um, society's view of success to back me up on that, um, even, a, even in a crappy market. <clears throat> I do. I do. You should be glued to the perspective that makes me tick. If you don't want this, then you won't have it. It's really simple. I put a lot of time and mental thought into this. Okay. A lot of people think, and I shared a Dave Ramsey video that um, allowed and laid out the framework and the rules that 90% of people cannot abide by. Phenomenal video, phenomenal video. If you're in my private group, it's required viewage. It'll take you, I don't know, 25 minutes to watch it. Change your effing life. No big deal. Um, every second of every day of every minute that goes by of every freaking day, man, my ferocity is on point enough to keep and identify with those small steps that are going to potentially change my life. Is it going to happen overnight? Nah. I've been working on this project for 25 effing years, 25 years, ever since I was 15 years old, it changed with me. And I told myself that I was going to do whatever it is that I could potentially do to march toward an end and that's the god's honest truth if you guys think that you're going to tune in and it's going to happen for you overnight i hope it does um, i'm here to tell you that this has to be a lifestyle commitment it has to i'm going to break down what i think that is and it's certainly in line with what the dave ramsey uh perspective was with regard to the basic rules and framework around financial success, but much more than that, um, you know, he, he talked about the inability of financial success to make you happy. Look, if you're a complete dirtbag, you're going to continue to remain a dirtbag. You, you just be a rich dirtbag. That, that's all good. I, I don't care. I, I, I know a lot of assholes out there in the world. It's all good. I'll give you a chance. You can be an asshole and still be a friend with mine. It's all good. I don't care if you're naturally that way. No problem. But I think what we're doing is trying to um, discuss financial literacy as if it can be something that can be controlled 
as opposed to something that I feel like for a lot of people perceive to be something that is uncontrollable. And the the results that that, that individuals are able to, to garner in this life would suggest just that, that it is freaking out of control for people. Household debts through the roof. Um, people do not have personal savings. Even in the developed nations, the video I caught, I wish I could remember the, the recommendation. If I find it, I'll put it in the description of this video. Fantastic piece of content, um, really quite good. Very good content creator, really drove home um, some of the points that they were talking about uh, with regard to even the developed nations um, bringing in $31,000 on an average per year, but an average outflow of 34,000, which means that on an average, people are spending more than they bring in. Uh, are you one of those people? If you are, I'm not, I'm not here to judge. I, I, it's fine. It's totally fine. But I, I, I'm headed somewhere. Okay. And in five years, you'll all get to enjoy that ride with me free of charge. Okay. It's free of charge. The live stream, nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time, is the very insight to what it is I feel like is the, the give back. This is my philanthropy. This is my give back to people to potentially provide a little bit of motivation for people that wouldn't have discovered it on their own. To identify with this idea that personal financial wealth building is an all elusive thing that is for a lot of other people, just not me. Financial literacy and stewardship is for the successful and the wealthy. Right? I've made too many mistakes in my life. Therefore, I'm somehow ineligible to achieve financial wealth and security in my life. I'm here to blow down all of those barriers for you. But you have to, you have to resonate with the idea that perspective is the key, and it's not going to happen for you overnight. You think I've just been floating around on a magic carpet ride over the last twenty-five years? This passion of mine drives me. It absolutely defines my life and what I do. Does it define yours? What is it that you stand for? Ask yourself. Do you want to be successful? Have you ever looked in the mirror and said you can be successful? Right? Super, super important to challenge the power of the mind and the power of what you think you are capable of and identify with what you know you can actually achieve in this life. Guys, be back with you in just a moment. No! it as a big extended family. Okay. Um, my minutes, this goes by really, really fast for me. Okay. So I'm trying to get the goods out there. I'm tired. I'm mentally exhausted after these live streams because I throw it out there and I throw it out good. I don't see this out of any other content creator. I wish they were out there. Some are really good. Some are really articulate. I'm rough and abrasive. I, I don't give a shit. I'll punch you in the face. Doesn't matter. Okay. My words have to come through YouTube and it has to get your attention, all right? If you can't be motivated by somebody like myself, you do not deserve to be watching my channel. Go find some fluff in the ass channel that's going to give you all of the elegant floating through life like on cloud nine and not tell you that you're going to incur hardship in your life, okay? You are. It's not worth it if you don't. I, I don't want to. I don't want to go through life and not have some opportunity to whip that ass. I, I don't. I don't. I don't want to invest in an opportunity and just see it go to a hundred, right? 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 Nothing in life is easy. Nothing. Okay. If you go into it with that perspective, you'll identify with a lot of things in life that are actually very, very simple. I render dividends almost every single day over my portfolio. Okay, that's easy. I make a lot of easy money in a lot of different categories, <laughs> having had the fortitude to start a business and, and start on this opportunity where I thought about quitting a thousand times. 
Rebecca, great to see you. Welcome to the Message Man community. Yeah, she's uh, part of the brothers and sisterhood in the independent investor community, no doubt about it. Always welcome. VIP, as far as I'm concerned. Been with me from the absolute beginning. And this guy right here, he's feeding the kids. That's some reality for you. <laughs> Taking care of the kids. Hell, I was doing a science project this week, me and my wife. We were helping the kid do a science project, man. Showing them the ways of the scientific method, man. Testing a hypothesis against a test and proving yourself a little bit more knowledgeable after the science experiment than you were before. Why not? All right. Nobody's got this thing licked. All right. So if, if somebody thinks that they've got all the answers, man, please entertain me um, and, and let me know what that actually means. Um, I think to summarize my opening comments, <clears throat> silent alert, man, thank you for all the fantastic work. I've been um, I've been really having a, a hard, hard time. I've been on the shelf for the last month or so. Um, I've been really, really reserved with my Twitter comments. I made a couple this week that I actually retracted. I typically don't do that. I usually say what I mean, um, but I really appreciate your guys' work. And, um, you know, for what it means, man, um, I, I, I am passionate. I'm passionate about everything that I do. Um, this, this is no different, okay? And a lot of people would come to me and say, ah, oh, Ryan, you just need to calm down and you just need to enjoy the ride and you just need to calm down, right? You just need to do all this stuff and just, you, know, you don't know where I come from, all right? You don't know where I come from, okay? And for me, the irony, the, the sheer beauty of the fact that I can put hard-earned dollars to work in a name that I have utter conviction in and see those dollars retrace 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 every single day it, no it, it, down 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 is the word down down that not up we do we can't even sit it's up up spelled backwards is pew okay we can't say it but down is the theme and all the while we have enormous demand and the video that was released just today on the battery inefficiency of the BEV Class 8 fleet. Silent alert hit it on the head with a short that came out. If you're not following this guy, you're missing out. It's 100% endorsement for me, 100%. Not necessarily because um, the content is phenomenal, um, but because what he stated right here. Um, I want the channel to be have the capability to touch real households because I live in one. Oh, don't make no mistake about it. Don't think that the Tron land behind you is reflective of the fairy tale land that I live in every single day. It ain't. It ain't. All right. We go buy groceries just like everybody else. Yep. We sure do. Getting some cool stuff done this week. I took a week off for the first time and like, this is what it's like to see me with energy. Uh, I took a week off for the first time in two years because I'm addicted to work. That's my problem. I have an addiction problem. I'm addicted to work. I'm a workaholic. I really like to work because there was a time in my life when I really, really uh, craved work and I didn't have it. Or And when I did, I didn't get paid very well. Um, now I do really, really well and I love my job which is part of the keys to success that I'm going to talk about on tonight's live stream. It'll change your freaking life. Like I said, man, take a few moments, give it a chance. You never know. You might just step, step and trip and, and fall into a, a line of thinking that I want you to get addicted to. Yeah. I want you to get addicted to success. Look, if you're going to succumb to addiction, why not just get addicted to uh, spending habits that are not reflective of the status quo. And I think this individual, he was uh, filming from the UK, actually speaking from the perspective that we in Canada and the United States can relate with in that we, we have opportunity here. We, we have a lot of the pieces together. The very fact of the matter is people can't just align the pieces on the chessboard to make any effing sense to themselves. And it's a tragedy because those people will reach their 50s, 60s, 70s. They will effing regret their life. They will, they will regret. They will look back and say, what in the flying F was I doing? 
I had the independent investor free of charge smacking me in the freaking face. At the time I was watching him, I thought he was an arrogant bastard. I wanted to just punch him through the YouTube screen because he would come on and, and, and talk about what everybody else needed to do. And, and you know, I, I took him for arrogant. I couldn't actually relate with what he was saying. I will not apologize to you. I won't apologize. No way. Not until the majority of people enter into later in life and they're set up because of the decisions that they made. Did they make mistakes? Yes, they did. Did they fall on their face? Yes. Did they get their ass kicked by life a few times? Yes, they did. And all that's okay. But they fought their way through. They fought their way through and they remained hungry. They never got complacent. Never got complacent. All right. We need to dispel a notion of right and wrong in investing. We need to drop that all together. When you hear these cliches about somebody having the right way, I know there's certain people out there on YouTube that would have you believe that buying VT is the right way. You know, the irony in that is I watch and I like Chris a lot. I like Chris. It's totally fine. He's called me out indirectly, not directly because he's, he's smart enough to know that that's a really, really bad move. But to, to, to suggest that everybody needs to invest in VT is an escape from thinking. And me, I watch it with my niche on the channel and I'm like, I'm a self-directed investor. If you want to do anything correctly, put VT in a self-directed Roth IRA. You're doing it wrong if you're putting it into a managed Roth IRA. They're still going to take their fees from you. Monthly fees, dividend uh, reinvestment fees, uh, and, and, and every other fee that they affix to a managed account. So he's missing half of the story. But see, he's so enthralled that he's got all the right answers for people. And people love that shit, man. They tune into YouTube and they're like, dude, this guy actually has the answer. Buy an international weighted fund. VT is an internationally weighted fund with 10,000 companies. Now, you're telling me that all 10,000 of those companies are quality? Fine. If that makes sense for you, no problem. It's not a problem at all. Have your entire net worth into international companies if that's what you want to do. Me, I'm a little more biased to the United States. Most of the companies that we have here are global companies anyway. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at 3M. Or look at Procter & Gamble. All right? The only company that you can buy that's basically 100% domestic here in the U.S. is freaking Walmart. If that's what you want to do and you don't want to be a commie, go buy Walmart if that's what you want to do. Okay? But companies here are so big. Johnson & Johnson, global company, right? You don't have to go buy VT and buy 3,000 stocks that are utter garbage just to say that you own the entire world stock market. You don't need to do that. And, and, and I'm not saying VT is not a good investment. It's the nature by which you own it is the key. And I've never yet have heard in all of the woo -woo videos coming out that self-directed option is even a thing. And for a public accountant, he should know that. He should know that. Take a little humble pie, man. It's all good. Take my idea. I went to Jeremy five years ago and I said, hey, here's an idea. You got a big channel. Take it. I didn't even want to do YouTube. I, I gave it to him and he said, I'm not really an IRA investor. I'm more of a, a stock market investor. I was like, okay, you're a freaking moron. Fantastic. You just told me everything you need to know about you. you. And he's got what? 900,000 subscribers of a bunch of lemmings following this guy. It's unbelievable. OK, I am the only one that puts personal responsibility in your wheelhouse. That's it. You want to blame me for your deficiencies? Good luck. I'm the independent investor channel. I have framed this force field. OK, from the planet of Endor. All right. I have formed this force field to put the ownership where it absolutely needs to be. And that is on the person making the investments. It's that simple. All right. But this whole right or wrong thing is crazy, man. If you expect me to come on and suggest that I have the, the perfect six things that you can do to invest and, and fly off into retirement in, in, in the correct way, I won't do that because it doesn't exist. OK, investing is dynamic. OK, a highly on company like myself that is so digressed can make so much effing sense for somebody like myself and so little sense for somebody else. The contrast between those two are so real, you can almost taste it. You can almost taste it. So people come on and they're like, Ryan, you do bad on Hylion is you need to calm down a little bit. You just need to be have long-term perspective. No kidding. You don't know me from squat. You don't know where I come from. You don't know that I crawled out of the dirt to find this microphone 
and share my story with people over YouTube. And I will not apologize for that because most people, the statistics will prove are an effing disaster. They're a disaster. Get out of my face. Until you can prove, prove some real worth to me, then you have no business being in my wheelhouse. Even though I invite you, it's an open door policy on the Independent Investor Channel. I dropped an invitation at the very top of every single one of my live streams. You want to know how many people have the confidence to come and sit next to me for my live stream? Zero. Week to week, zero. And quite frankly, it's the way I like it because I deliver a better product. But when I have somebody sitting with me, I'll banter with you. It's no problem at all. But most, most people want to throw that venom out there for the sheer sake of the fact that they do not have all their dogs barking themselves. It's that simple. You want to come on? I have plenty of dogs barking, okay? You can borrow some of my dogs. I'm not a pet owner, but you know what I mean. It is an analogy. You can borrow as many dogs as you want. I got plenty of them barking, all right? The phase of the market right now is in buy mode. Uh, I go through different phases, and I've gone through this over the channel where I discussed the ability to actually take profit. Now is not a time that's conducive to taking profit in the stock market. Let me freaking repeat myself, and I'll say it in plain English as slow as I freaking can. Right now is the time that you want to be taking advantage of the market. I talked about um, passive income investor who's a friend of the channel. He's a friend of mine. He's like my Canuck brother to the north, okay? He's like my connect, uh, Canadian brother. And it's funny how we can connect these awesome uh, approaches, right, and 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 put them together through social media. I, I would guess Silent Alert is hailing from UK. Am I correct in that, Eye of the Tiger? I see you sitting there, man. I got to have Eye of the Tiger on the, on the channel one of these days, man. If you get the kids to bed, man, hop on. If you hop on, I will devote an entire 60 minutes to you. Why? Because I'm that passionate about this project. And I am passionate about people. And I tell you what, this cat right here, he is a good, good person. And you're missing out, man. You are missing out in one of those connecting the dots things that I'm trying to facilitate on YouTube. I don't care about fame and fortune. You can have it, okay? Don't care about any of that. What I value is relationships because one of the very criteria in the Ramsey philosophy is to surround yourself with successful people, successful mindset. I don't know. Is highly on going out of business? Does that mean that I'm not a successful person? <laughs> <laughs> you got to be kidding me. You don't know me very well. All right. Go back and watch the other thousand live streams that I've dropped on YouTube. You're getting a special treat here, February of 2023, and understanding what I actually bring to the table because what I can communicate is actually right up there and up front. But right now in the stock market, you should not be looking to save money and get into the market at a lower time. And, and sale your winners now so you can lock in profit. I've been in buy mode for the last 24 months. Just buy the market. I'm not even talking about dollar cost averaging. I do that like sleeping and putting on my seatbelt. I'm monitoring. If this bitch goes to 206 again, you want to know who's already got the truck backed up? It's already backed up. The money's in the truck. I'm ready to do my transaction. Do you have? The cojones enough to create the monster that you're going to create if you back this truck up on me, pl play me, okay? Try me, mother effer. Try me. Because here's the difference between now and 20 years ago. Now, the availability of information is out there. Um, there is a crystal clear picture of Hylion specifically that is available to the public marketplace. It's made easily available by guys like myself, Silent Alert, Andreas Rutowskis, and the greater Hylion Discord community. That's just one name, okay? I cover a lot of names out there, stories that have been beaten down in a stock market that would not give credit to future earnings potential. Right now, everything is being discredited. If you're not paying attention, uh, watch the action of the stock market every single day, all right? The market is in free fall right now. Is it an exacerbated free fall? It is insane. People need to stop buying $500,000 suburban houses because it has white Oreo cookie freaking granite. It's not worth it, okay? Stop buying these houses. 
that aren't worth but $200,000 of material, but the hedge funds are selling to you at $500,000 a clip and you eat it up like candy. Now, this is incredible. And you're one of those morons that make $35,000 a year. You can't afford it. You cannot afford it. Okay. Try living within your means. You want to know what the average house payment is for the average household in the United States of America? You want to guess what it is? Take a guess. Under 500 or over 500? I would venture to guess right now it's over 500, but it's actually $499, right at $500 a freaking month. Dave Ramsey talks about this in his video. If you invest 500 from 20 to 70 years old, you'd have $5.75 million. If you just tripped and fell into investing and found half, half of the success that we are preaching through the Independent Investor Channel, you'd end up with, I don't know, 2.76348 million. I read a freaking article this week that talked about a lady who won the lottery. She won $188 million. Seven years later, she's broke. $188 million, my friends. By the time she was able to touch her first dollar of winnings, she had lost $100,000 for the opt-in for the lump sum payment and the $50 million of tax liability to the government that she owed for winning this $188 million. Are you freaking kidding me? Seven years to lose $188 million? You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Mm-hmm. That speaks to the absolute stupidity with regard to people's financial literacy. You got to improve it. I'm improving it with you guys. I don't profess to have all the answers, but holy crap, can we as a civilized country or group of countries come together and suggest that we're all just a bunch of peons in a much larger game? Who's benefiting from the $500 a month payment? You're paying it. You're paying it too. Oh, Ryan, I hate you. You know, you got, I got to have a car pay. Everybody has a car payment. Really? Have you ever tried not to have a car payment? It's a beautiful thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Have you ever tried to own a car over five years? I'm telling you, man, I'm an engineering mind. If you put oil, clean oil in your freaking vehicle, something that is as simple as that, clean oil, in your engine, it will run for effing ever. It will. Ah, my car is it's making a funny noise. I'm going to go and trade it in. <laughs> and I'm going to trade it in for a $50,000 vehicle <laughs> because that's the basic necessity that I need to get from point A to point B, right? It's insane, my friends. We're giving all of our wealth away to the man. And the whole project of the Independent Investor Channel is to realize independent wealth. Independent wealth. Look at your own wealth as its own institution. My institution's right there on the screen for you. You think that's made up? It's YouTube. It's social media. I could come on and make up whatever I want. But Cornerstone Capital Solutions was the name of my LLC. It's kicking some ass right now. Define your own personal brand. If that just so happens to be Silent Alert or it happens to be Re Rebecca's Quest to Fire, define your own self-worth. You're stepping into a much larger arena in understanding that you're important. I'm here to tell you that you're important. You're important. If you need to come on every single week and get uh, some nitro freaking glycerin from me, no problem. Come on. I deliver the goods every week. It's all good. You should be affixed to your screen. Because this is very real. The cool thing is I can give you some insights. And this, this comes from Bob Marley and Peter Tosh's first song. Yeah, the stone that the builder refused will be the head cornerstone. Mm -hmm. Cornerstone Capital Solutions, LLC. The ability to take certain strategic pieces in the portfolio, jam it to the corner like passive investing and dividend growth investing at another passive corner and maybe a nice big block of freaking growth stock. Right. So when the market goes on a plateau and highly on holdings actually realizes within 10 years, in accordance with the Buffett rule of owning a company that you could just get thrown in jail for 10 years and come out and be happy that you own the company. I love this company. I love it. I love it. And I really wish that Thomas Healy would re relate with the amount of devotion and 
the amount of sheer devotion that I have for this name in sharing the opportunity on what opportunity I think this company has. They have the goods. They have the goods and it really just comes down to bringing the power generating unit with them. It's very, very simple. It's not difficult. It's not hard. A lot of people don't like the name. A lot of people don't like the fancy, fancy paint jobs. A lot of people don't like Thomas Healy because he's an engineer and therefore he's not a CEO. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah right? Cornerstones in your life, man. This is just financial peace. All right. You want to start to dabble into even more important categories like relationships and children and, you know, my wife who I've been with for, she's going on 18 years now. Those are the, those are the things that make me tick. Financial security and financial wealth building. <laughs> I can talk about this stuff all night. I got this stuff licked. If you can take half of the devotion that I have for having this stuff right in your head, having it right in your head. You'll go a long way in life. You really will. Maybe you don't realize the full 5.756525 million um, by being a complete moron and just investing in the indexes for the rest of your life. Maybe you take some strategic shots in your life and understand that you will, in fact, incur some. You will incur some um, some barriers in your life. Ah, you could just go through life and go to work and wake up and just go and do your thing and whatever happens to you happens. It's, it's okay. It's up to you. Um, I don't live my life like that. I don't. I have zero debt, zero, which is contrary to the norm. I have $500,000 of wealth, which is a far cry from the averages. Far cry. Averages in the developed nations from Canada, US, UK, was of around 1,500 either pounds or dollars, or in Canada, it's Canadian dollars. 1,500 1500 would represent the average amount of savings. I've seen it within my family. People get up to like 1,500 and they're like, oh, gosh, Jesus, God, what, what can I buy? What can I spend? What can I, I got to buy something? It's just like, I, it's just, I got to buy something. I got to buy something. And then you get up to like four or five thousand dollars, and it's like, oh my God, now I've got now I'm I'm freaking rich. I can buy all these things, right? Doesn't work that way. All right. What it comes down to is what does it take to become successful? I can tell you a lot of the things that you shouldn't do if you want to become successful. Okay. You can stop judging me. Okay. I don't judge you. I could care less. All right. But irresponsible spending. Poor budget habits. Find whatever it is that you need to find. And I hope this hits home with you because this is a life lesson that you're not just going to pick up in a whim. Um, I'm telling you because it's I'm right. Okay. But try to identify with the fact that you don't need all the crap that you buy. If you're making that 35000 it is imperative. It is an absolute necessity that you are not spending frivolously. You have not earned the right to spend frivolously, okay? <laughs> Whatever that means. Because I think a lot of people that have learned financial discipline, they have learned the ability to identify with what it makes, what makes them happy in life without the compliments of always having to have the inject of money making them happy. Silent Alert talked about it. I'm putting my kids to bed, right? Or something very, very simple. That is the stuff that life is made of right there. Okay. But you have to have a, an iota, a, a, a carve out. You have to have the ability to compartmentalize the financial piece to this deal. You have to. Okay. You have to spend some time thinking about it. You can't just think about it and expect that next week it's going to change on a dime. This has to be a lifelong devotion, lifelong devotion. If, if, if you become addicted to it, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because if you're not, you can come on and witness somebody who absolutely is me, me. And it's not about me. It's about the legacy that I leave for my kids. Mm -hmm. It's about the legacy that I leave my kids. And if I have the ability to leave them with uh, potentially a step up, not 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 because my parents didn't leave me with something very, very special because they did. 
My parents gave me the greatest gift ever in life. And that is in one word, my friends, one freaking word. And if I could wish upon anybody, it's to gain this one word. And that is appreciation. No matter if you're the one making $9,563 a month or $158,000 a year as a salary, if you're one of those people that can't appreciate that and appreciate the opportunity that's been made available for you, it's, it's all for naught. It's absolutely all for naught. And it doesn't matter if you work really hard or deploy this per mental perspective that I have in life to gain financial success, you're not going to appreciate it anyway. It's not going to matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Some of the happiest times in my life were the times when I had no money, carefree, vagabond. I lived out of the bag of my back. I'd been there. I've been in a place where I had nothing. How many of you can say the same? How many of you can say the same? And I'm telling you, man, I think it's possible that you mentally transcend yourself to a better place. I do. Tell yourself that you're lucky because you are. Tell yourself that the ability to invest in a company like this is not a detriment. It is an absolute luxury. Where people want to come on and they want to suggest, Ryan, this and that, it's going back to two. Here's a comment right here from Lucian. It's going back to two. If it does, I'll buy the stock. No problem. If you do not have that mindset, you do not have the mental fortitude to engage in this advanced game that I'm playing in. You do not. You do not. Because I know that if the percentage of my portfolio goes to zero in Hylion, I'm fine. A lot of people would not be fine with that. Okay. So if it goes back to $2, which I think I can't disagree with you, the trajectory is such that the company fails to recognize the fact that they are a publicly traded company. I can do everything that I can possibly do as a lone voice because I have no help on this. None. The Discord group does not help me with this. Silent Alert does not help me with this. And Andreas Rakowskis does not. Nobody helps me with being critical on this young company. Okay. They feel like it's in the best interest to not be critical. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. There is no company out there as good or bad of a story as they have that is somehow immune to failing. I've been around the stock market long enough to understand that if you are not charging on all cylinders and, uh, and looking to whip that ass, and find that strategic advantage, carve out that strategic advantage out of the marketplace that you will be steamrolled over, okay? No matter how good your idea is, it does not matter. And they are vulnerable now. And to your point, you're probably right. You're probably right. If it does, I believe that their strategic vision, their strategic partnerships, their ability to leverage their OEM relationships, which I'm very gray on right now, very gray, okay? Um, I'm not one of those like dance through the tulips and be like, everything's freaking great. This is so great. You want to know the last time I wore this hat? I don't. I don't wear it. I can't. I can't put that on my head. I can't do it. Okay. I'm glad to own it. I'm super fantastic. I'm sure if Thomas Healy knew that I had it, he'd probably want me to send it back because I'm such a scathing figure and there's such a scathing character on Twitter. No, no. If you read my tweets directly, it will suggest that maybe we can do a better job. I deal with companies that don't get paid unless the stock performs. Let me repeat. I work with companies that are phenomenal companies. Okay. Pet Vivo, for example. I did a coverage on Pet Vivo. Phenomenal company. Looking to um, aid in osteoarthritis in horses, dogs, and cats. Okay. Awesome. Awesome idea. $30 million market cap. It just surpassed $3 today. Can they do better? I don't know. Highly on to the moon. Yeah. yeah they're going to sell hundreds of thousands of units like they said they were. Yeah, they did say they were. How much have they sold so far? Struggling. But I tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. My conviction, I will continue to share with my YouTube audience on where I stand with this particular company. Do I believe that the company is going to inevitably end up somewhere? What does Warren Buffett say? If you can't own a stock for 10 years, don't own the stock for 10 minutes. I just think there's a bunch of bitches that are involved in this name right now. 
There's a bunch of bitches and you don't need to be invested in this name if you are a bitch, okay? You gotta be tough to engage in this game. You have to. If you don't wanna be a bitch, just go buy VT, okay? Go watch Strongman Personal Finance. He'll tell you a hundred times over. Just go buy the international VT, which is 10,000 stocks. 30% of that is complete dog shit companies that you've never heard of before in your effing life. But that is the end all be all of investments can, that's going to take you to the effing promised land. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's no problem. We will see where we are in 10 years, my friends. And I'm not going to apologize. You will never hear that from me on the channel. Never. Okay. My job is to earmark as much opportunity as I can rapid fire. Like I'm firing away into YouTube as much as I can. I'll fire away on perspective. I'll fire away on opportunity. I'll fire away on whatever it is I'm working on right now. I don't make this stuff up. This is very real. All right. Aduro Clean Technologies. I own 25,000 shares. Think I'm joking? I don't. I share my portfolio. It's no problem. It's not like some of these guys who do YouTube and everything that they do is an effing mystery. Like, whoa, well, hold on a second. The independent investor, I would expect that the very criteria that he come onto YouTube and demonstrate is that, I don't know, he's an actual investor. <laughs> let's, let, let's start there. Okay. Let's start there. No, 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 my friends. What it is that I say and do is exactly what I say and do. It doesn't mean that you have to go like a lemmings and do exactly what I do. No, 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 no. I've been defining this for 25 years. You cannot expect to come into the independent investor and get enough nitroglycerin to expect that you're you're not sleeping tonight because you can't wait till Monday to roll around. Now, I expect that this is going to be life changing. OK, and if you just so happen to stay up all night tonight because you're excited about the opportunity, you should be. You should be. Because do you want to be that person in later on in life that regrets everything that you had right in the palm of your hand and failed to capitalize on? Is that, is that what you want to do? We are looking to avoid regret. Do it hard. Do it hard and you'll have no apologies later on in life. Okay? Do it hard. Go down fighting if that's what you need to do. Okay? But the ultimate responsibility is going to fall on you as an individual. It's going to fall on you as an individual. All right. Let's get to some of the comments here, man. I think I got some comments in here tonight. Pretty awesome gallery. I appreciate you guys making this as, as cool as it is. Very cool stuff. <laughs> he says Pet Vivo is great. Um, it's a cool company. It's a noble cause for sure. Um, I dig it. You saw that little shot up to 100. That's where Google was like, all right, Ryan's selling out on the independent investor channel. Let's give him a little shot of nitrous oxide on the channel and it shot up and people are like, oh my God, I discovered this guy. And then they got to shut it down again. Hold on, hold up a second. Hold on, Ryan's giving away too much success. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not going anywhere on YouTube. It's totally fine. You listen to my, re my, you listen to my message and a funny thing might actually happen. You might actually trip and fall and discover success 101. Success that has eluded you for the entirety of your life. It would elude me if I didn't have the mental education and the mental fortitude to pursue with all ferocity, dare I suggest, be addicted to success. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Tesla Semi has uh, PepsiCo. That is true. Uh, <laughs> I won't even go into that, man. Silent Alert has been pretty on top of all this stuff as far as all of the breakdowns that have happened. You got to follow this guy, man. He, he follows it pretty intently. Um, I've had nothing. I know exactly what you're talking about. I freaking wouldn't trade it for nothing. Don't give me hell. I'm one of those funny, funny guys, man. This whole like number thing that I declare to YouTube is just that it's a number. It means absolutely diddly squat outside of what I'm pursuing. And that has always been financial security. The larger the number, I feel like the more security I have. Now, it's not the wad of paper that I have that provides me security. It's the very decisions that I make with that wad of capital, okay? I'm talking about all kinds of cool shit. Guns, alt, alt investments, security in way of a portfolio that's very diversified, a very solid retirement program, the ability to pay for 
any health ailments that I may potentially to come down to. I mean, I declared to you guys that I'm going to be going for 127 years. It's all good. But um, we, we all know that, you know, the fast ones ride for free. And uh, I'm one of the fast ones for sure. Uh, and I'll buy it two bucks for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, it's all good. I just continue to monitor it. I say that tongue in cheek. I don't believe that the stock goes there. It goes there. I do not. I believe that there's been some interesting institutional buyership over the company. Um, and we'll just have to monitor it. If it does, no problem. They'll create a monster out of me. I could care less. We'll be having some independent investor retreats from the day till now until rapture. And you're all invited. Every single one of you. You're part of something special here, guys. There's no doubt about it. When you can sit around a round table with me and actually give me your elevator pitch at why you deserve to have a place at that table, and I don't, I don't discriminate. Everybody deserves a place at the table, okay? I don't think because based on how you look or what gender you are or, or, or what you think you bring to the table or don't bring to the table that you don't deserve, if you say that you deserve to be at that table, that you don't deserve to be at that table. All right. And I'll hear you out. Give me your elevator pitch. It's all good. Yeah, absolutely. hundred percent. It's a great time to be investing in the stock market. Well, it wouldn't appear that way, right? Boy, I tell you what, you buy into all the short-term thinking as opposed to the long-term thinking. It, it would suggest that maybe we're all a bunch of crazy animal retail investors, man. No, nah, man. No, the, the the cat is out of the bag. The cat's out of the bag, okay? You can downplay this thing as long as you want. Eventually, it'll turn. Cat's out of the bag, yeah. And I want to bring as many retail investors along as we can. If your number just so happens to be 10 grand, what if you invest five or six hundred dollars that you would sit across from me and say, Ryan, I truly do not have that five hundred dollars to invest, man, but I'm going to find it. I'm going to carve it out of my surplus capital as little as it is. And I'm going to invest this money. For, not for me. I, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm OK. I'm completely devoted to my children and the next generation because I've made mistakes. I'm 43 years old and I've made all kinds of mistakes in my life. My life is pretty much half over at this point. I'm giving it up for my kids, man. I've got $500. If I can take advantage of down markets right now and turn that wealth into something in way of five, six, seven, eight, seventy five hundred, ten thousand dollars of wealth that I can turn over to the next generation of wealth, that is the very ground roots investing that I am talking about. Going from nothing to something. Going from the status quo that I defined for people and understanding that most people are up to their freaking neck in debt. They're freaking up to their net in debt because they've got to buy all kinds of crazy shit out there. We've got malls on every street corner where you can go and spend your entire paycheck every single month on a bunch of frivolous freaking crap. 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 Look back over the last five years and make a list of the 10 things that you're most proud of in way of the crap category that you've bought and stuck in your mind as being memorable. Can't do it, can you? I'll bet you can't name one. A, a, a blouse that you bought? A, a, a suit? A, a, a pretty cool pair of shoes? Yeah? Yeah? And I'll, I'll bet you've spent tens of thousands of dollars on those frivolous pieces of shit items that have kept you in the quicksand your entire life because you fail to identify with the very discipline that it takes to pull yourself out of that. And you can do it. It's all mental. This change, change, We're creatures of habit, very, very difficult to change, but you have to find the value in changing. Most people think that if they quit cigarettes, they're going to be really, really uh, unhappy. And they do. They quit and they're like, man, this sucks. This I'm unhappy. I don't know what to do with myself after I eat dinner. Man, I usually go outside on the balcony and relax myself and give myself lung cancer. You know, um, I can't imagine their selves themselves without their vice. Yeah, yeah. They can't imagine themselves changing, and the people who actually do battle and overcome their addiction actually look back on their life and they're like, I can't believe I ever succumbed to that. I can't believe I ever like did that to myself. I can't believe that I couldn't actually wake up in the morning without starting my day with a cigarette and a cup of coffee. I can't believe I did that. That wasn't me. 
<laughs> you know? Great news that they don't like EVs. Uh, sick of them being shoved down our throats. I <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a great farce that's going on right now, my friend. I I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna let it play out. I see what I see, and I'm gonna capitalize from it. I really am. I don't know what else to say. Um, yeah, pretty tricky. I totally agree with you right now. It seems like we're part of a pretty good propaganda. Let's talk a duro. Uh, next to JAR and Solana Global Medical All Winners. Fantastic, Bob. Thank you for 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 leaving that in the group. Fantastic. Uh, JJ, Nicola, taking risks, building hydrogen stations, BEV and FECB. Highly on playing it safe, still testing for five years. Um, that's a pretty stupid statement, JJ. I, I love you to death, man. You're a community member. Like I said, I don't discriminate. That's a pretty retarded statement, man. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. Pretty retarded. Um, they're, they're done with their testing. Um, they're looking to turn out and go to commercial at the end of this year. So I I don't know. Um, I'm not your bra. Um, I have two real ones. Um, and those are the only two bros in my life that I, I would actually go to war with. All right. Very cool stuff. Uh, General Mills, absolutely appreciate you, Lucian. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick over, man. I'm gonna make you a, I'm gonna make you a moderator this evening, man. You've earned it. Thank you so much. Ad is a managing moderator. You betcha, Lucian. Very cool stuff. You've earned it, brother. Thank you. I appreciate you. Welcome to the community. Appreciate you. Um, Nicholas, 900 million of liquidity. Oh, absolutely, I want to see Nicola do fine. Um, there's just real headwinds in the way, right? You, you can't look at this and say, okay, I, I, I try to do this without, with, with Hylion. Hylion has a, a fairly lean business model, right? Nicola has a capital intensive business model. You have to agree with me, right? Um, they have the ability to turn out a massive amount of trucks. If, they're, if nobody's buying the trucks, then what the fuck are they doing? Come, come, come on. I, you know, I, I'm not, I, I own long calls on Nikola. Okay. I have money on Nikola, which is more than 99% of the people out there that bash Nikola. Okay. More. I have more stake in the game in Nikola than 99% than of the people that would be out there. Ah, oh, they're not going anywhere, this and that. Um, I, I just, I, I just don't know how they're going to pull this thing off, man. I really don't. I don't, I don't care that they have the ability to work as their own OEM, their capital that they're burning is just alarming. Okay. Um, it, it is, it is absolutely up in the air, whether or not they're going to be able to do it on their own. It really is. I, I hope they do. I hope they do. Um, Nickel is running highly on around circles. Um, JJ, I tell you what, brother, I tell you what, I'm going to, I'm going to take the high road with you this evening. Okay. Because your statement speaks enough about how, how idiotic this statement is. And I'll just leave it alone. I thank you for the entertainment. I really appreciate it. It's pretty funny. All right. I, the tiger wrench is taken back to 1987. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, whatever, man, they're going to have a little fun on this deal. I mean, what's YouTube going to do? YouTube could actually strike me for a copyright violation and they'll take the $6 that I actually make on the live stream and they'll keep it for themselves. All right. See, I fight the man. All right. I don't succumb to what it is that uh, YouTube and Google expects of me. See, if, as long as they give me the power and I don't screw around with my strikes and do stupid things like talk about idiotic things, you see, this is all good stuff. Okay. Then I'm fine. Okay. I don't care about it. I don't care. They can keep the $6. It was worth $6 to listen to Eye of the Tiger for the first four minutes of the live stream tonight. I don't need the six dollars to put food on my table. I'm making it in a hundred other ways. I'm totally fine. All right, take a page out of my playbook. All right, love the message. As always, appreciate your streams. I'm a new empowered member of the Viper Group. Yes, yes, you are. Yes, you are. It's one of the um, the opportunities that we're going to be rolling out here. I'm going to be solidifying that Viper Group and what it means, pushing out a little bit more um, in in way of good merch. Like I'm probably going to be doing some label branded Yetis. As well as if any of you guys know a good t-shirt manufacturer, one that's better than the one that's sponsored by YouTube, hit me up. Um, there's a ton of money to be made because my 
my my logo, my branding is tits on badass. Um, the I2 is fantastic. It's a home run. Um, you'll all agree it's badass. Um, um, I love the fact that if I could wear an I2 shirt that was actually quality like this one, I would stop advertising for Nike altogether, even though I love Nike. Um, uh, I would just advertise for my own personal brand, man. Why not? Uh, because it stands for what I stand for. And in your case, it stands for what you stand for. Okay. We're going to be working on some of those things. I'm in no rush to do that. I've par partnered with a few folks through the channel um, who have reached out to me and said, Hey, Ryan, you kind of kick some ass and you should probably reach more people. And I'm like, yeah, maybe it's time. I don't know, whatever. We'll see. Um, but we are going to actually try that and um, uh, try to push out our product to more people. Um, so stand by uh, for a learning introductory free course. It's going to be a five video series. I'm going to work on it this weekend, and I'm also going to push out a newsletter, a newsletter that's going to be available to um, my private group um, to let you guys know what I'm buying and in what capacity, what dollar cost average pressure I'm putting on the markets, where I'm thinking, what type of themes I'm looking at. These are all things I'm thinking of. I might as well share it with the group. And this would be pretty pretty fun to actually share and, and push out there to the, to the grander YouTube audience on the independent investor channel. I'd love to reduce those lows, uh, figured it bottomed, but who knows, miss buying these levels never last long enough. I don't know. If I were going to guess, I'd say that the market's going lower. I'll probably be wrong. Um, I've been doing this a long, long time and understanding that I'm probably not going to be right. Um, market could turn next week and, and we'll see what actually happens. I, I don't, I don't know. Um, does Ryan still print? Yeah, I you'd be so proud of me, D. <laughs> like, um, if I didn't have the compliments of the YouTube channel, I think it would affect my insistence on people, especially like us who have access to the TSP, to just invest passively in the markets and not try to push that range of tolerance that I talked about with people. See, my range of tolerance is more interesting on YouTube, especially if I can share if I'm being a little bit more aggressive with my application as opposed to conservative. What I mean by that is um, I, I believe in passive investing 100%. If I were just to take and dollar cost average markets to the full extent that I could, max fund my Roth IRA accounts and buy VTI or VOO every single year um, or spread it out amongst 12 buy injects, to the market, do the TSP, as I make rank, which I am, making more money, invest in the TSP, uh, I, I, I would absolutely end up in a phenomenal place. Not by nature of the fact that I got lucky or that I had all kinds of investing knowledge and savvy. No, no. What I just disclosed, anybody can do that. But the path that I've chosen acknowledges the fact that I'm due a pension when I retire, just like you, right? I invest a little bit more aggressively to take those strategic shots in what I feel like is calculated risk. Is highly on going out of business? I don't know. I guess there's always that possibility. Um, am I going to be in financial ruin if highly on goes out of business? No. Now, will I be disappointed? Yeah, yeah, I will. Um, so when you talk about printing, um, I think you'd be surprised at where some of the um, sources of the income come from. And I'm glad to do the independent investor live stream free of charge. But this is not a moneymaker for me, my friend. It's just not. Um, and it gives me the motivation to come on and provide this product as more of a give back to give my heart and soul during the live stream. I'm motivated to do this product. I really am. Cause I feel like if somebody heard the message tonight, my goodness, man, if you couldn't get, if you couldn't get invest, uh, motivated by that whew, man alive, I, I don't know if I would consider you even alive. I really wouldn't. Very cool stuff, man. Ryan, do you follow a I don't, but I will, I will actually look into it. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. 
Uh, I'd love to hear anything you have to say on it. The Tangy man, thank you so much. I appreciate the ticker drop, man. Very cool stuff. It's in line with what I consider to be sharing knowledge, Ryan. I love your Friday sessions. Uh, keep it up. <laughs> Dude, this ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I love doing this, man. I freaking love it. Um, I I got I went through, go back and watch my very first YouTube video, man. It's funny. I'm like, hello, welcome to the independent channel, man. Hi, hello, channel investing and stuff. It's it's good, and you should maybe do two too, right? And and subscribe to the channel. Now now you're getting like barbecue chalk, Ryan, which is much more invaluable. Um, I'm not stopping to do this at all. I love doing it. It's a lot of fun. What's up with all these highly on haters? Well, I, I don't know. I, I don't I, I don't hate anybody. I don't hate Nikola. I don't hate Tesla. The fact of the matter is they seem to get a lot of favor in the market. The Nikola price point. Okay. Silent Alert talked about this this week, guys. I'm not, I didn't think about this. Silent Alert identified it. I didn't know this. Silent Alert did identified on the top end that some dipshit analyst was calling for $50 million of revenue, 50 million. They turned in 6.6, 6.6. The low end was 10 million, 10 on the estimates. How does a company like that get so much favor in the marketplace? It's because you got, I mean, JJ, come on, man. You come in here and cheerlead. I mean, your pom-poms are on fire every single Friday for nickel. And I just don't get that level of devotion. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's just a stock, right? It is just a stock. What's up with all these? I'm a new $2 low only represents a blessed opportunity. I'll be buying huge. I'm not buying. I wasn't buying when they rolled up to 380. I was like, y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. I'm good. I'll sit on my position. I have no problem with that. Cost average down six, seven, eight. I bought blocks of shares with the two in front of it and the three in front of it. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. If it dips down into the low twos, I'll be buying again. Simple as that. Simple, simple as that. This is not rocket science. It's it's where I see value. Could I be wrong? Yes. I don't believe that I am. And they'll create a monster. It's no problem. They want to create a multimillionaire out of me. No problem. I can come and talk to not 40 people every single Friday. I can talk to 40,000 people every Friday. It's not a problem. They want to create this monster? Not a problem. You'll get the same delivery. Y'all crazy people are sitting here in a small, like, Irish bar with me. This is an Irish pub. This is not a stadium. This is an Irish pub I throw down in. It's all good. You're all the beneficiaries of it. It's all good. Mm -hmm. I don't get it either, man. I don't get it. How much revenue does Hylion make? They'll make $2 million. <laughs> They'll close down 2022 at 2 million. That's the fact. All right. And whether or not they close out 2023 less or more than 2 million will actually speak to their ability to raise revenue. See, everybody was talking about them being a pre-revenue company. And when they stopped being a pre-revenue company, everybody was talking about the revenue that they make not being enough, even though they have a pre-commercial product right now that they don't even have certification on right? The idea is in investing. And JJ, I'm going to help you out here, brother. I really am. You have to be forward thinking with your investments, okay? If you cannot be forward thinking with your investments, I highly recommend just parking your money in the indexes, being happy about it. Go find a spouse, go find a mate that you can be happy with and spend your time doing some amazing things with that opportunity. Lord knows I do the same thing. I'm not telling you to do something I don't do with the majority of my time trying to pursue my spouse who I've been with for going on two decades, okay? It's way more important than me than manifesting over who makes what and who does when and who does what and where. Who cares? These are both two very, very new companies, okay, with two very, very different approaches to this very, very large problem that we have in the class eight transportation space. The fact of the matter is the class eight transportation space is the largest polluter on the earth. Will Nikola be the bull? I hope they are. I, I, you, 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 you misinterpret my point here. I hope they are. I hope they succeed. I hope there's plenty of places out there that can purchase their BEV option right now. What are they going to do? They're going to run hydrogen fuel cell now? 
maybe in Southern California. I, I don't know, my friend. I don't know. But man, the tit for tat's fun. And I think honestly, I play into it because you do it to me every single Friday and it's tit for tat and it's fun, right? You can poke the bear a little bit. It's fun. <laughs> it's so fun to poke the little independent man. It's so fun. All right. <laughs> anyway, cool stuff, guys, man. We'll, we'll wrap it down. I gave you 20 extra minute minutes. I charged you, right? Everybody who is probably pretty devoted, 41 people are patrons, man, in the live stream from that on Friday, man. I kept you, I kept you engaged. I kept you riveted, man. You were just hanging on for that next little piece of information, man. I'm scrolling through. Thank you for everybody. I apologize. There was a hell of a, a group tonight, man. Let's keep the momentum going. All right. I promise you. Okay. I give you this sincere promise. If you devote to the independent investor channel, man, I'm not going anywhere. It would be a criteria of mine that if I was going to support a channel, I would need to subscribe to that channel, knowing that they were going to be there for the long term through the ups, the downs, the sideways, the circles, the back and forth, the ups, the downs, the left, right, BA select start. Remember that the select that the stock market can dole out and still fight the good fight. All right. Because I know I'll be there in the end. All right. But the reason why I advocate so hard for this opportunity is because I believe that people miss an opportunity all too often that's right in front of their face. Keep the momentum going. We'll catch you guys back. I want you back here next Friday on the fastest 60 minutes on YouTube, the Independent Investor Channel, man. Be well, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you next time.